Okay, you're probably aware, okay, uh, in these A-liners, uh, trailers, and some other ones, they have an outside shower. Not really useful for much except rinsing off your feet unless you want to use it to always get a hot shower. You're not going to be able to use this, okay, to shower with. What you're going to do is you turn on the hot water heater a couple hours before you need it. You turn when it's uh, hot, which, you know, an hour or two is usually plenty. Then you get your solar shower. And again, the solar shower is a great thing to have. And if you can get it hot with the sun, that's all you need. But a lot of times, maybe you won't have the sun. So we take the solar shower, we put a funnel inside, we turn the hot water on, and we add it. Now, we don't need to use fill the whole bag with hot water. Have this bag filled about halfway with whatever water temperature it's at, three quarters, just depends on how cold or cool the water is, okay? Take a little, dump a little water out if it was full, add your really hot water in here, and you will have a hot shower even on cloudy days. So that works like a charm, should always have a hot shower. Now you might be wondering from the previous example, well, wouldn't that use up a lot of water? Yeah, it does use up some water, depending on how many shower bags you're filling up, but there's an easy water-saving method you should definitely be using. Instead of washing your dishes with soap and water, use vinegar. This is a Windex bottle with white vinegar in it, pure white vinegar. Okay, so what you do is you wipe off your plate with paper towels or something as best you can, get all the food out best you can, spray it down with vinegar, okay? Let it sit, wipe it off with a paper towel, and then spray it on again. If you want some extra sanitization, just spray it on again after it's been cleaned to let it sanitize even more. Wipe it off again, and you have clean dishes. You can do that with any of your things, your pots, your pans, plates, silverware. This will save a huge amount of water, and you'll have more water available for things like uh, showers if you need to heat up water for your solar shower. Okay, another handy tip dealing with water is when you need to add water to your tank, instead of using a hose okay, or other things, always carry a uh, gallon jug with you because it's extremely convenient to put the water in like this. If it's pretty good, you can get it up at an angle and you can fill it pretty fast. And you know, on a gallon jug, it's easy to carry, really easy to use. So really handy, have a gallon jug. It's often easier to, to top off my tanks, even when I've got a water faucet right next to the right next to the trailer. It's often easier to do this than to get out the hose. And you may not be able to get every single drop out, okay, because of the angle, but it still works pretty darn well. It's pretty easy. You might have noticed that when you're not hooked up and you're in weather where it gets a little bit cool below the dew point, you get dripping condensation down from your metal brackets at the ceiling. Get condensation all over. One thing that will usually work without trying to do some kind of two-sided tape and carpeting, which I've seen people do, is to open, you need both okay, of your vents open. If you only have one of them open on one side, that usually won't do it. You need them both open to allow the warmer air to rise and get out. Because the warmer air, okay, is often where the problem is coming from. So you let that air uh, rise out, that usually will stop the problem most of the time. You only need to have it cracked open, both of them, if it's really cold out. Obviously you wouldn't want it open that much, okay, if it's really cold weather. But if you have them both cracked open, that usually will make a difference and will at least reduce greatly the amount of condensation and dripping of water inside your A-liner or A-frame uh, trailer. Okay, another tip of something you definitely want to bring with you is white duct tape. Okay, White duct tape is important because if you have to seal something, number one, it will match okay, the color usually. Any duct tape will work, but white matches things. Now, why might you need duct tape? Well, up here you see the screen is coming loose, and until I can get to repair that to keep insects from coming in, uh, I'm using tape just as a temporary solution here. Another thing that might happen is leaks. Yes, it's good to have some type of caulking material to fix leaks in your roof or, you know, okay, through here. But what if it's raining in the middle of the night and it's leaking? You're not going to be able to go out and fix that 
during that time, you need something, okay, to seal off the leak. So when I had a leak, okay, in these panels here, uh, on one trip we did, I put duct tape all around where the leak was coming from and I was able to get it to stop, okay, while it was raining. So that's really important. You need something to make emergency repairs like that. White duct tape will usually do the trick unless it's a really major problem. So white duct tape, okay, something you definitely want to have. Looks like this, white duct tape. Definitely get it. Okay, so let's say you're having trouble sleeping at night. You have a queen size bed or a full bed, whatever it might be. You thought it was big enough, but it just doesn't seem to be as big as you thought as your queen size bed at home. The reason for that is even if the dimensions of a bed like this queen size in this trailer are about the same as a regular bed, the problem is you have less elbow room, okay? You're cut off over there. You have no elbow room over here. So in actuality, you have several inches less room, and that might cause a big difference in being able to sleep comfortably. So what do you do? Well, you do what tent campers do. So this would go for any bed in any RV you switch the position of the heads. So this is what my wife and I do. So you have one head on this end, the other end on that end. It may not be as intimate, but if you want to get a good night's sleep, that might be what's needed. Because now all of a sudden you have much more room, okay, at your elbows. You don't have both shoulders on one side of the bed, and that creates a lot more room, okay, when you do that. So if you're having trouble sleeping, don't feel like you have quite enough room, this is definitely something that might make a big difference. Speaking of sleeping, what if you're having trouble uh, with noise, okay? Somebody's snoring or outside noise or uh, you're afraid your dogs are gonna bark, okay, while you're gone for the day and they're gonna disturb people. Here's a nice little gadget, a noise machine from Hometics, okay? Turn it on, I like to use the white noise at night. So that white noise at night is similar to the air conditioner running, and the air conditioner running will do the same thing. But that can often make a big difference in people being able to sleep. You can also use some of the other ones, okay? There's rain, brook. So if your dogs, uh, you're afraid are gonna bark if you're leaving dogs during the trailer while you're out on an excursion, this might be enough, okay, to uh, keep them from hearing certain noises and barking and everything if you have barkety dogs. So again, another tip or trick. Now speaking of sleeping, okay, anybody who's been in a small trailer or a tent has experienced this. Mother Nature calls in the middle of the night, it's dark outside, the bathroom's far away, it's cold, there's bugs, you don't want to go outside, so what do you do? Use urinals, okay? Now you can buy pre-made urinals, okay, like the red one here, okay, which is pre-made, has a little handle on it. I often find though that Gatorade bottles, at least for men, work really well. They're very heavily constructed, have a wide enough mouth, and these work, I think, even better. Okay, you just got to be careful you don't drop it. There's no handle on it. I haven't dropped one yet, though. For women, you have a different problem. So this is, uh, you may want to order something like this. This is a female urinal, okay? And my wife, since there's no lid that comes with this, she just stuffs a paper towel right on the top to seal it off to prevent the smell. So this is a real handy uh, tip to use because, uh, that is an issue for almost anybody who's camping, okay, uh, who normally has to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Uh, that's usually going to happen, so this will work really well. Okay, now this will go for all RV owners. Do yourself a favor. For most of us, an AGM battery is the way to go. This is a Duracell AGM I had installed. The reason it's better than going with a regular deep cycle battery, most of us are not used to maintaining batteries you know, adding water, checking fluid levels. Most of us don't do that. We're not in the habit of doing it. And we're gonna forget, even if we know we're supposed to, we're gonna forget and the battery's gonna die an early death. So if you're not used to doing it, I mean, if you're used to doing that, you're somebody who's mechanically inclined, you do this normally anyway, you know you'll remember, then a regular uh, deep cycle battery should work fine. Most of us are gonna forget a AGM battery, is uh, maintenance free, you don't have to do anything. They're usually guaranteed for three years. You do nothing, you never have to do anything, no maintenance to it. You save yourself a lot of trouble, because when your battery is not functioning properly, not powering up right, and you're out camping, you know, that's, that's a real major hassle. You won't have to worry about it with an AGM deep cycle battery, 
okay? That's guaranteed, that's maintenance free. So I highly recommend. They are, tend to be 70 to 100% more in price uh, than your regular deep cycle batteries, but in my opinion, it's worth it for that peace of mind. Speaking of maintenance, I'm sure everyone knows you should have a spare tire for your trailer, okay, a full-size spare tire, and those usually come standard, so that's a no-brainer. But what about a full-size spare tire for your tow vehicle? Well, yeah, this this uh, van I have, minivan, has a uh, spare tire underneath, okay, but it's a donut. It is not a regular-sized tire. So, do you really want to deal with having a donut trying to tow a trailer uh, and get to a place to get the tire replaced when you're out camping trying to have fun? Or would you rather have a full-size tire that you can pop on and keep going and get the other t get the tire fixed when you get the chance? I'd much rather spend the money for an extra spare tire, a full-size spare tire, so I can keep going on my trip and not be interrupted and I can replace and fix the other tire when I get the chance. And I'll still have an extra spare tire, an extra donut, when I need, if, if I actually needed that. So yeah, this costs some money, okay, but as far as I'm concerned, it's well worth it um, because you don't have to interrupt your trip. It's much less inconvenient. So that would be my suggestion, why to have an extra full-size tire as a spare for your tow vehicle. Lastly, another recommendation I make for A-liners or other small trailers, bring a beer tent. Okay, so beer tent I mean is an extra space that's bug free where people can sit, relax, have a beer, play games while other people are inside the trailer trying to sleep. So you can set this up outside. The main requirement is that it have a lot of windows, a lot of screening. So this is the one we're currently using, six person instant dome, 10 by nine. It's tall enough to stand up in barely, but tall enough. You can sit several chairs in there. It's got three major windows, which gives plenty of circulation. I'm gonna play a little clip from a previous tent we had that was not an instant dome, but you'll get the idea from looking at that. Um, I recommend this tent. Uh, we've used it lately mainly as a uh, screen house for our RV. But uh, we've also uh, used this tent to sleep in. And uh, if we have extra guests, like if my son brings his friends and they will sleep in here because we don't have room enough. A-liner for more than three people, really. Uh, what we really like about it, again, is the ventilation. You have these big, huge windows on all four sides and really provides a lot of great ventilation. And uh, this tarp has worked really well. Uh, we had a lot of rain the last two days here, and it, it stayed very dry in there. I mean, it was we had downpour after downpour, and it stayed dry in here. So this, this tent has worked well. It does have a little e-port, but we never use that. You see it's pretty roomy, room enough for about for three chairs in there. We usually put a piece of carpet down. We use our Lugaloo in there as a little table. Okay, well I hope you found uh, this video helpful. I'll put the links to some of the Amazon products that were featured in this video in the link description box below. If you're so inclined to support the channel, see you later.